Nathan at Rain Networks. Thanks for joining us today for our video number two in our Getting Started with ESET Cloud Security Management Center. Uh, today, we're going to cover installers. So if you go over on the left to your installer section, uh, you'll normally see three installation packages. Now, the first thing to understand here is the architecture of how ESET installs on a machine. When you install the ESET software, you're actually installing two things. You're installing the agent, which is the communication agent that connects the computer to the management console. Now, it doesn't provide any protection, but it simply provides communication between the computer and the management console so that we can manage the computer. The second thing that installs is the actual endpoint software. So the endpoint software is the part that's actually doing the protection uh, of the computer. And so these two pieces of software work together. Now we can install those two pieces of software in one operation, or we can split that off into two operations. If we wanted to install it as one operation, and this will be the first deployment method that we're going to cover, what we would do is we would download what they call the all-in-one installer. So this is deployment method number one. If we click on this all-in-one installer and click download, we'll be given a 32 and 64-bit option. Um, obviously, most people nowadays are using 64-bit, so download whichever one pertains to your situation. Download this, run through the installation, takes roughly 10 minutes. Um, ESET will get installed on the computer. You'll have both components and it'll eventually show up in your computer section here um, and it'll kind of look a little bit like this. Um, okay, deployment method number two, probably the more popular of the two, is to load the agent and then run a software install task that pushes out the endpoint software. So we're going to run through really quick what that looks like. This is deployment method number two that we're going to cover. First, I'm going to go ahead and deploy my, or uh, excuse me, download my agent. You'll see that that downloads as a zip file. We're going to go ahead and extract this zip. Inside this zip is a little bat file. And we're going to go ahead and run through the installation of that. Okay, here's the bat file. Literally to install this, we just double click on this bat file. Um, you may get your Windows smart screen popping up here. Click on the more info and click run anyway to go ahead and run the agent. You'll see that what comes up is a uh, command prompt and then a small or a short uh, Windows uh, setup procedure here. You'll see that there's nothing to click OK or continue on. This will literally just um, flow through and finish without any interaction uh, on your side. Okay, that's it. So just that fast, that took, uh, gosh, very little time, maybe less than 30 seconds. I didn't uh, specifically time it, but you can see that the agent installs very, very quickly. And now we'll be able to see the computer uh, in the computer section. Okay, so now I have installed the agent. It, the machine is now checking into the portal. You can see here, uh, it hasn't fully populated all the details of the machine yet, but give it a minute or two and the details of the machine will eventually pop in. So the next thing that we will end up doing here is pushing out the uh, software to the machine using a software install task. So let me run you through how that works. What we'll do is we'll click on the machine and if we had multiple machines here, we could select multiple machines and click uh, the new task here through uh, the actions menu at the bottom. So we could run this task on multiple machines at one time. But for this, uh, the sake of this demonstration, we're just gonna do a single machine. So we're gonna click on the machine. We're gonna click on new task, okay? You can name your task if you want, um, like something like install endpoint. Uh, you don't have to name it, but you can if you want. And then down here in the task button, or the, the task dropdown, we want to select software install. Okay, then click continue. At this screen, we're going to choose our license and our package. So I'm going to click on e choose ESET license. 
I'm going to click on my license right here. This is going to tell the task what license to deploy to the machine. Then click on Choose Package. And I like to add some filters here. Usually I'll add an OS filter and a language filter to just uh, whittle down the entries that I see here in the uh, ESET repository. And normally I always install ESET endpoint security. And you can see here, if you look at the version column, it's gonna show you uh, multiple versions. Just pick the latest one, okay? Then click I accept here from the, uh, the checkbox here and hit continue. All right, it's letting me know here that it's gonna install on this machine. At this point, if I wanted, I could add more computers to this task if I wanted to, but for now, I'll just proceed with one computer. Okay, the trigger is where we're telling this task when we want it to run. Uh, if we choose as soon as possible, obviously it's gonna run right away. We could schedule it once and tell it to run at a later time. Maybe we wanna run it in the evening when we're not using the machine. Uh, we could even you know, have these tasks run on a scheduled basis like every day, every week, okay? In this case, I will just keep it on as soon as possible and then hit, hit finish and I'm done. And so this finishes up uh, deployment method number two installing the agent and then pushing the endpoint software. This is probably the single most popular way of installing ESET, okay? Deployment method number three is using ESET's remote deployment tool. I did a separate video on this a while back on how to use the remote deployment tool. So instead of running through that here, I'm just gonna put a link in the description here on how to use the remote deployment tool. So just to recap, installation method number one is using the all-in-one installer, which will install both pieces of ESET software all in one shot. Deployment method number two is installing the agent and then running a software install task to push out the endpoint. And installation method number, two, number three, rather, is using the ESET remote deployment tool. There are other installation methods. Those are just the three most popular, and so I wanted to make sure and cover those in our video today. Thanks a lot and join us on our next video where we go through the computer section, how to manage and organize your computers, and some of the, the actions that we can take in the computer section.